So in this video, we are going to look at what's called the interval of convergence. So this is important to go over now because you will discuss this when you reach calculus. So an interval of convergence is only going to apply to an infinite geometric series. So remember, we break down infinite geometric series into two categories. The infinite geometric series is either convergent or divergent. And there's a huge difference between the two. The big difference is when you have a convergent infinite geometric series, you can calculate the sum. If it's divergent, the sum does not exist. So a convergent infinite geometric series, you can calculate the sum. So that's going to be important to us for an interval of convergence. So we're not worried about the divergent. Now let's remember something about a convergent infinite geometric series, and that is that the common ratio R, the absolute value of R, has to be less than 1. So if we break that down, what that really means is that R needs to be less than 1, but greater than negative 1. Okay, that, co that covers everything in which the absolute value of R is less than 1. Now let's think about this for a second. If it was a geometric series, could R be 0? Okay, would you have a geometric series? So let's see, let's say 2. If R was 0 times 0 times 0 times 0 times 0, okay, is that a geometric series? No. So what we have here is a convergent series is when R is greater than negative 1 or less than 1. So R can't be 0, and if the absolute value of R has to be less than 1, okay, R has to be less than 1 but greater than negative 1, okay? If you're not sure of that, think about a number line. Here's 0, here's 1, here's negative 1, and anything to the left of negative 1, if you took the absolute value of it, say negative 2, if you took the absolute value of negative 2, it would be 2. That doesn't work. If you took the absolute value of negative 0.5, is that going to be... Less than 1, yes it is, so all of this works, all of this works, and then here's 2, absolute value of 2 is 2, absolute value of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So the common ratio has to be less than 1, but greater than negative 1, and it can't be 0 if it's going to be a convergent series. That is the same thing as saying the absolute value of R has to be less than 1, but it also, from our knowledge of geometric series, we know R can't be 0. So... What you do when you want to find the interval of convergence, okay, so that's what we're going to go over right now. Find the interval of convergence. So if we're going to have the ability to make it a convergent series, that means that this series must be um, able to change at the moment. So I'm going to show you a series in which that would be true. And if that's going to happen, that means there has to be variables involved. So if this was the series, okay, here's the geometric series that we have, okay? 1 comma x minus 2 comma x minus 2 squared comma x minus 2 to the third dot dot dot. So we know this is an infinite, okay? Find the interval of convergence. So what that means is we want to make this series be a convergent series. If this series is going to be a convergent series, then we need to make sure that R stays within these values. So the first thing we have to do, what you need to notice is this series has the ability to change based on what X is. So, what we need to figure out is, what is R 
in terms of x. So first things to check for when we're finding the interval of convergence, the first thing is you need to make sure, okay, the first thing to check for is make sure it's geometric. So let's check to see if this series is in fact a geometric series. So geometric means we have a common ratio. So what 1 times what is x minus 2? Well, that would be times x minus 2. x minus 2 times what is x minus 2 squared? Times x minus 2, right? I'll put a little multiplier symbol like that. Times x minus 2. So we see that, yes, this is a geometric series because our common ratio, okay, r is x minus 2. So, now what we have to do is find when the common ratio is between 1 and negative 1. So, we're saying r is x minus 2, and we said r needs to be less than 1 and greater than negative 1, and r can't be 0. So now, we just said r is x minus 2, and what we're finding, okay, what we're trying to find is the values for x so that this series is a convergent infinite geometric series. So if I add 2 to both sides, which we're allowed to do, right, add constants to both sides so we can just solve this as is, as a compound inequality, this gives us x has to be less than 3 but greater than 1. Now when does r equal 0? So when does x minus 2 equal 0? 2. So x can't be 2 because if x is 2, then our common ratio would be 0, which is not allowed. So the interval of convergence means this series will be a, an infinite convergent series when x is greater than 3, I'm sorry, greater than 1, but less than 3, and x can't be 2. So this is its interval of convergence.